hi guys welcome to our youtube channel so in today's video we'll be looking at two medical triads and the first one we'll talk about is vehicles triad and then we'll move on to talk about the trauma triad of death so let's start off with vehicles triad there are three factors that are thought to predispose a person to deep vein thrombosis and that's what vehicles triad is about so one of the factors that contributes to deep vein thrombosis is endothelial injury and another factor is venous stasis and then the last is a hypercoagulable state we'll talk more about this but before that let's look at the difference between what a thrombus is and then what an embolus is because sometimes it can be confusing basically a thrombus is a blood clot that forms in a vessel and stays there but an embolus is a detached intravascular solid liquid or gaseous mass which is carried by the blood to a different site a site that is distant from its origin so it can be anything it can be anything as long as it has traveled from its original site to the site it's currently in it can be fat it can be amniotic fluid it can be air bubbles it can be a blood clot so when a piece of blood clot breaks off from the original site of clotting enters the circulation and then lodges into a different part of the vasculature elsewhere in the body it's called a thromboembolus so it's called a thrombus in the original site of clotting but a thromboembolus in the site where it has traveled to so now that we understand the difference between what a thrombus is and what an embolus is let's look at the three factors that contribute to the vein thrombosis as i already mentioned one of the factors that contribute to the vein thrombosis is stasis of venous circulation and another factor is hypercoagulability and then the last is endothelial injury so we can easily remember these factors with the abbreviation she where s stands for stasis of the venous circulation h for hypercoagulability and then e for endothelial injury deep vein thrombosis commonly affects the veins of the lower extremities it can affect those of the upper extremities but it's more common in the lower extremities and some of the veins that are susceptible to the vein thrombosis include the femoral vein of the thigh the iliac veins of the pelvis and then the popliteal veins now back to the three factors so the first is stasis of venous circulation so stasis basically means to stop or to slow down so blood is not flowing through the veins as it should there is decreased blood flow through the veins and this can eventually lead to the formation of a blood clot and some conditions that can lead to the stasis of venous circulation include atrial fibrillation and also in cases where there is prolonged immobility or paralysis and also in obese patients another factor that contributes to the development of the vein thrombosis is hypercoagulability hypercoagulability means excessive blood clotting and some conditions that can lead to a hypercoagulable state include protein c deficiency so as you already know the liver is the site for synthesis of some clotting factors as two factor seven factor nine factor ten it's also the site for synthesis of protein C and then protein S. The main function of protein C is to inhibit activated factor 5 and then activated factor 8. So if it is deficient, it means we are unable to inhibit activated factor 8 and activated factor 5. And this can lead to thrombus formation. And other conditions that can also lead to a hypercoagulable state include malignancy antithrombin deficiency or elevated factor eight so all these can contribute to excessive blood clotting and now the next factor we want to look at is endothelial damage and it can be caused by trauma or surgery heart valve disease hypertension or chemical irritation and when this damage occurs, there is exposure of the subendothelial collagen and release of coagulation hemostasis mediators, and this eventually leads to 
thrombus formation so this is what vehicles triad is about now that we know what vehicles triad is let's move on to the next thing which is the trauma triad of death so hypothermia coagulopathy and then metabolic acidosis form the trauma triad of death so the next thing is how to remember this triad so one thing you should know is that a dead body is always cold so if a dead body is always cold that is hypothermia and one thing we should ask ourselves is what is the state of a person before they die so a person is often comatose or in coma before death and so we can just see that let the co in coma stand for coagulopathy and then the ma ma stand for metabolic acidosis and in this way we we'll easily remember it so that's all about vehicles triad and then the trauma triad of death but before i end this video i'll give you an mcq to try so that's the question which of these is not a part of Chakot's triad and A is abdominal pain, B is headache, C is fever and then D is jaundice. So what do you think the answer is? You can leave your answers in the comment section and we'll talk about it in our next video. Thank you so much for staying till the end of the video and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share with your friends and also subscribe.